What's up, everybody? Check the lower third. Today, we'll be looking at the top 10 kick returns in NFL history. Who says that special teams aren't special? The kickoff return for a touchdown continues to be one of the most exciting plays in football. With great upfront blocking and precise vision and movements, these are the plays that always bring fans to their feet. Number 10, Antonio Brown, week two of 2010. In a sign of things to come, rookie Antonio Brown scored a touchdown the first time he touched the ball in the NFL. Pittsburgh was coming off a Super Bowl victory in the previous season and smartly picked Brown in the sixth round of April's draft. Brown proved his worth in this week two matchup against Tennessee. After receiving the ball in the reverse with Muelde Moore, Brown followed his blockers down the right sideline to daylight. He's got room for Rollins to beat him. There he goes. He'll be chased and he is gone. 97 yards. Oh, what a way to start. Number nine, David Johnson, week two of 2015. Nine yards out of his own end zone, rookie David Johnson stunned the Chicago faithful in this 2015 matchup. Trying to keep the momentum going after a win against the Saints the previous week, Arizona struck early thanks to Johnson. Johnson saw his crease and took it to the house. Number eight, Dave Williams, week 13 of 1980. In one of the best Thanksgiving games ever, Dave Williams and the Chicago Bears stunned the Detroit Lions in overtime. After the two division rivals were first to go into overtime tie 17 all, the extra period lasted less than 10 seconds. Touchdown that tied it with no time left on the clock. Murray's kick, fielded by Williams at the five. Williams breaks out of the pack. Dave Williams to the 30. Williams outran everybody down the sideline, sending the Bears home just in time for a turkey dinner. Number seven. Randall Cobb, week one of 2011. The first of two Green Bay Packers on our list, Randall Cobb certainly showed the kind of dynamic player he can be in just his first game. In the opening game of the 2011 season, Aaron Rodgers and the defending champion Green Bay Packers were hosting Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. In a matchup featuring two of the game's best quarterbacks, Randall Cobb made the game's best play about midway through the third quarter. Eight point game, more stick to kick off. Eight yards back. Cobb is going to bring it back. And the rookie breaking tackles on his way into Saints territory. And the second round draft choice goes all the way for a touchdown. Cobb ran 108 yards for one of the best returns ever. Number six, Dante Hall, week 12 of 2004. Before Devin Hester and Joshua Cribbs were the best return specialists in the mid to late 2000s, and before Dez Bryant was putting up the X, Dante Hall was the game's best kick returner, and first to get the nickname the X-Back. The longtime Kansas City Chief was a star in the early 2000s, thanks to returns like our number six selection. Back to the five, Dante Hall, who has an 82 yard return today, and again dancing his way by Cooney, has an escort, chased by Osgood, he will go the distance. Number five, Desmond Howard, Super Bowl 31. As of 2017, Desmond Howard is still the only special teams player to be named MVP of the Super Bowl. Yes, there was a Patriots team before the Tom Brady and Bill Belichick era, and this group was led by respective mentors, Drew Bledsoe and Bill Parcells. In this back and forth contest, Desmond Howard scored the final touchdown of the game on this 99 yard return. We're starting to feel it. Starting to get warmer up here. It sure is. Benetieri. Kick goes to Desmond Howard at the one. Desmond Howard is on. You better turn it on or he's gone. Desmond Howard all the way into the Patriot end zone as soon as they get back in it. Number four, Josh Cribbs, week six of 2009. Unfortunately, due to playing in the same era as the electrifying Devin Hester, Josh Cribbs has been somewhat overlooked. Yet, the argument can be made that Cribs is the best return specialist ever. And our number four selection will be a strong point in such a debate. Lines it down the field, it bounces, and Cribs had it bounce off him. That's a live ball. Back by the goal line. He's got to come out with it. He's to the five. He angles. He's up the sideline. He's still running. He's to the 20, 25, 30. He's to the 40. He's down the sideline and angles left. He's to the 35, 30, 
20, 25, 20. He's got blockers in front. Five, touchdown. Joshua Cribs pulled off one of the best returns you'll ever see. Number three, Jacoby Jones, Super Bowl 47. The first player to score both a receiving and return touchdown in the Super Bowl, Jacoby Jones and the Ravens had quite a game in Super Bowl 47. Entering halftime, Jones wanted to do his part to not let up. Taking the second half opening kickoff nine yards deep in his own end zone, Jones took the ball out, carved up the Niners' kick coverage, and route to the end zone. University to the Eagles, and later on it was Lombardi bringing him out to the Raiders. Jim Harbaugh, that is. And this could be a run back from nine deep for Jacoby Jones. And look at him go. Jones is past the 50, and he is flying inside the 20. And a kickoff. The Ravens continued to roll, and Jones celebrated with an homage to teammate Ray Lewis. Number two. Devin Hester, Super Bowl 41. With Peyton Manning vying for his first championship, it was Chicago Bears return specialist Devin Hester who stole the show early in the Super Bowl. He led the NFC in both kickoff returns and punt returns. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave and here he goes. It's Hester. There have been a few Inside. kicks returned for touchdowns in the Super Bowl, but there's never been one on an opening kickoff until Devin Hester did. Number one, Kevin Dyson, 1999-2000 AFC wildcard game. Buffalo Bills fans, you may want to turn away from our number one pick. As one of the most memorable plays ever, the 2000 AFC wildcard game between the Tennessee Titans and the Bills give us the best kick return ever. Nicknamed the Music City Miracle, it looked like the Bills were about to advance to the divisional round after Rob Johnson orchestrated a drive, which led to a field goal, making the score 16 to 15 with less than 20 seconds left. Do the Titans have a miracle left in them in what has been a magical season to this point? If they do, they need it now. Christie kicks it high and short. Gonna be fielded by Lorenzo Neal at the 25. Yeah, give pitches it, it back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. 30, He's 40, got something. 50, He's got 40, it. 40, He's got 40, it. 20, 10, He's got 5, it. End zone. Touchdown Titans. There are no flags on the field. Insanity. Do you think there was a kick return we missed in our rankings? Join us in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.